going to show you how to properly administer oxygen via the nasal cannula, but first you must set up your oxygen tank. Initially select the desired cylinder and make sure that the label reads oxygen. If it is a new tank, you'll see that the O-ring is attached on the cylinder. Remove the O-ring until it's needed for the regulator. Next, to remove any debris or dust, crack the main oxygen valve in order to do so. As a precaution, make sure that you never let the cylinder itself stand alone. Next, position the O-ring onto the regulator. Once in place, the notches on the regulator must line up with the notches that are found on the cylinder. Once in line, begin to tighten the T-screw until it's secure. Lastly, you're going to check if there's any leaks in the oxygen tank. In order to do so, open the valve on the oxygen cylinder and listen for any air leaks. If you do hear something, close the valve and try again. Once secure, you're now ready to administer your oxygen via the nasal cannula. To do so, you're going to attach the tubing to the regulator. And before attaching the tubing, if you are working by yourself, you can set the oxygen cylinder on the ground next to your patient. For sanitary purposes, do not let your cannula sit on the ground. Next, you want to adjust the flow meter to one to six liters per minute. Once it's at the correct amount of flow, make sure that the prongs are curved toward the throat of the patient with a flat position above the lip. Position the prongs into the patient's nostrils while sliding your hands along the tubing to place around the patient's ears. Once in place, Slide the slip hook to the appropriate length so it is under the patient's chin, approximately an inch below the neck. You are now ready to properly administer your oxygen via your nasal cannula to your patient.